The next thing we are going to learn is the logical operators. These are the common logical operators named and, or, not, and also, or else, and XOR. Total six. Once again, and, or, not, and also, or else, and XOR. So, what are this? How it works? Let's see it practically. Let's create some three variables. So here I have A, B and C as three different variables. Let's assign some values to it. Because it's a boolean, I'll assign true. And you can see I don't have to enter any double quote. You can simply say true equals to, let's say I'm putting both the variables true and true. Now the very first logical operator we are going to learn is end operator. So let's read the definition of the end operator, how it works. The end operator returns true if both conditions are true. That means if A and B, both the values are true, then only it's going to return the output as true. So what does that mean? Let me show you. All I'm going to say equals to and I'm say A and B. So what exactly I have written here? I have written a as another very vari one variable b as another variable the condition is if a and b both are true if you see a is true b is true if both are true it's going to give the output as true if any one of them is false the output of result would be false so this is the definition i have written if either or both conditions are false it returns false so let's print it I'm going to say so finally I'm trying to print this output message box dot show result so let's see what or how the output comes so let me run this now so here in our case both a and b variables are true so if both are true and I'm using an end operator the output should be True. you can see it has appeared true what if i am going to make one of them false i made one of them false and i'm going to run the code once again and click on show results so what happened the output has come as false so that's the definition right if either or both condition are false it returns what false you getting it so this we have experimented and the very first logical operator we have learned is the end operator now the next thing that we are going to record is the or operator logical or operator so how this works look at the definition the or operator returns true if at least one condition is true pretty simple if any one of them is true then the output is going to come as true if both then conditions are false if both the conditions are false it returns false so let's see it so now here all i have to do change the end operator to or operator let's run it so what should be the output in this case i'm going to click on show results and you can see the output has come true why because one of them was true a was true all right now what i'm going to do i'm going to make both false and let me run it and i click on show results and you can see because both of them are false the output has come as false the third operator that we are going to learn is a logical not so what is the not means the not operator reverses the boolean value of a condition now imagine if the output is supposed to come true it will say false now if the output is coming false then it is going to say true it returns true if condition is false and false if the condition is true just it reverses the values so let's see what we will do now in this case a or b when i write 
this statement is false right because both are false so output is false now what i will do i'll simply say not and put a or b in parenthesis done so a or b combined a a or b combined what happens the output comes as false because i have written not here what would happen the output supposed to come as true let me run this and click on show results and you can see the output has come true vice versa if it's supposed to be true then the output would come false let's do that for example if i will say true now with a or b what should be the output the output should be true because one of the value is true so here the output supposed to come is false let's run it show results and you can see the output has come as false so it will just reverses the output of what comes so within the parenthesis whatever the output had come it is reversing that so not is for reversing the output getting it the not operator reverses the boolean value of a condition false to true true to false next we are going to learn about the fourth operator which is and also what is it and also which also known as short circuiting end so what is this short circuiting end means let's read the definition the end also operator behaves like end like the end operator behave both has to be true then the output supposed to be true any one of them is false or both are false the output would come as false so here it works just like end operator but has an important difference so what is the difference it short circuits what is the meaning of short circuit like in the current board it happens right the short circuit happens then there is no current at home short circuit what is this this means that if the first condition is false for example a so how it works let me show you for example i'm writing a and also and also b so what is the meaning the first is a condition this is a condition so what is the value of a if the value of a is true and the value of b is false so what it says this means that if the first condition is false it does not evaluate the second condition at all because the result will always be false now here if you see the first condition is true a is true and the second condition is false so now it will go to the second condition and also check whether that is true or not only if both are true just like end operator then the output come as true let's run it first show results so what happened the output come as false why because a is true but b is not true b value is false that's why the output has come false here now let's reverse it so what i'm going to do i am going to say this as false and this as true okay now here in this case what happens because the first one is false it will not even go to the second place this means that if the first condition is false it does not evaluate the second condition that is the problem that is the that is how it works end means it will evaluate both the things but end also it will just stop at the first one if the first one is false then it will not go to the second one at all for example if i run this show results you can see because the first one is false it has directly given an output called false it will not even evaluate the second one because both of them needs to be true so now let's do one thing let's make both of them true and let me run it because both of them are true what would happen remember how it works first we'll check if a is true the first condition is true then it will go to the second one and also it found both are true because both are true the output supposed to come as true very useful operator and also clear let's stop this let's learn our fifth operator what is the fifth op operator or else it is not like and also it is not or also huh? it is or else short circuiting so how it works let me tell you the or else operator behaves like or operator so how the or operator behaves if 
any one of them is true, the output comes as true A or B. So if A is true, output will come true. If B is true, output will come true. So any one of them is true, then the output is supposed to come as true. So here how it works. If the first condition is true, it does not evaluate the second condition. It will not go to the second condition at all. Because the result will always be true. This is how it works. For example, here I'll keep the first condition true and I'll make the second condition false. In this case, if I'm going to run this, sorry, I did not change the condition. Let me change it to or else. Or else. Done. So in this case, what happens? The A is true and B is false. Because A is true, one of them is true, so it will the final output will come true. It will not evaluate the second condition at all. Let's run it. Show results. So what happened? You can see the output has come as true. Now let's see what happens. So basically it checks how it's supposed to work when you use a or else. For example, the first condition I'll keep it as false. Okay, first condition I kept it as false. And the second, I have kept it as true. Now, in this case, how this will operate? It will find A is already false. Then it will go to the B to see whether it's true or not. And then based on the B's value, it is going to show you whether it will be true or false. So what will happen in this case? A is false. It will go to B and it will find it's true. So the output is supposed to be true because it will work like or only. If the first condition is true, it does not evaluate the second condition because the result will always be true. If the first condition is false, then it will go to the B and check. Okay, just, just like how we saw end also. Let me run it. What should be the output of this one? True. Getting it because one of them is true. It will work like or only. Just that whether it should stop at the first condition or it should go to the second condition, it checks. When you use or else operator. In this case, A is false. That's why it went to B. It traveled to B and then checked. It found it true. So the condition has become true. More like a OR operator, it worked. All right. Now let's move on to our next topic. Next, we are going to learn about the XOR logical exclusive OR. So what is this XOR? XOR means the XOR operator returns true if one of the condition is true. Any one of the condition, if it is true, it will, it will work like OR only, but not both. So what is the condition? In OR operator, if both are true, true, then the output was coming true only. But in this case, it will not come as true, but not both. If both of them are true, then the output will come as false. If both conditions are the same, for example, true or false, if both of the conditions are true or both the conditions are false, it always returns false. That is the difference between OR and XOR. So here let's change the operator saying XOR and see how it works. So for example, here I would make both the condition true. Both the condition true. Let's run it. So if both the condition are true, what is the output I am expecting? False. Let's run it show results and you can see the output has come as false same thing if i make both the condition false now because both are false the it returns false so let me run it show results and you can see the output has come as false now, what would happen? For example, if I keep one of them as true, any one of them. So what it says, returns the true if one condition is true. So if I run this, what is the output? It will come now true. You can see it has come true. So these are the six different operators that we have learned. Now, just to brief, what are the things we have learned? The first one we have learned is the end operator. End operator means both the conditions should be true, then only it gives the true value. If any one of them is false, then it gives a false value. Next, we have learned OR logical operator. In OR, any one of them, at least one condition is true, then the output comes as true. If both conditions are false, it returns false. 
then we learned about not or the logical operator the not operator reverses the boolean value of a condition next we have learned and also it works just like and operator like we saw both the conditions should be true however there is a small difference what is the difference this is called short circuiting so this means that if the first condition is false it does not evaluate the second condition at all the same thing goes with or else it just works like or operator however it does not evaluate the second condition because the result if the first condition is true then it does not evaluate the second condition just just check the first variable for and also and or else the very important variable is the first variable or the first condition is very important based on that it will decide whether i should go and check the second condition or i should not check the second condition okay next is xor in xor the only difference is when you are using a or operator if both the things are true the output is comes true but in xor what happens if both the things are true or false it always returns false that is the only difference what it expects only one condition to be true the other to be wrong you know to be false then only it gives you a true as an output a boolean output the output that comes is a boolean output and all this logical operator that you saw makes plays a very important role when you have to write code right when you have to write a condition so in those conditioning if conditions and all those this for conditioning purpose this logical operators plays a very very important role we will see as we move forward how to use them practically in various use cases so thank you for watching please do comment if this logical operator was clear to you or not please do comment and let me know in the comment section let's move on to our next topic